Want to buy a claw machine? You know you do. Definitely check this out as I'm going to be giving you some tips and advice if you're looking to buy uh, your first claw machine or any other type of arcade game. Set your price range. Don't spend more than you can afford on a machine and also set your priorities. For example, if you need a new car, don't buy a claw machine first. Unless you plan like driving a sugar loaf all around town. Wait a minute, that's not actually a pretty good idea. No, no, no! Don't get any ideas, Matt. Buy used, but be cautious. Used machines are much less expensive than new ones, but might need something fixed. Now where can you find claw machines that are used? eBay is a great place, and that's where actually I got this one right here for about 500 bucks. If buying online, like eBay, make sure to look at the seller's feedback, and also if the seller specializes in selling these types of machines, see if they have a technical support line that you can call if you need any help. Craigslist is another good place to find local machines. As always, be careful and be cautious. If the machine is in your area, for example, if you find it in Craigslist at a yard sale or a local newspaper, be sure to go and check out the machine and make sure it is 100% working or it is exactly as the seller has described. Just because a seller says a machine is working does not necessarily mean that it is working if you get my drift. If you're familiar with electronics and simple electronic repair, then buying a used claw machine that might need a few things fixed up is a definitely a great, inexpensive, and fun project to get into. There's also plenty of online forums including BeTheClaw.com where you can talk with other claw machine enthusiasts and collectors if you have any questions or need any help with your machine. Once you have your machine all fixed up and ready to play, don't you want to mod it and make it look cooler? Yeah, you do, because that's a cool thing to do today. Now, don't give in to peer pressure, but you know you want to mod your machine and make it look cool. Dollar Bill Acceptors. These are a great addition to any machine, and especially if you're planning to put it on location, you will get more sales with a dollar bill acceptor than you will with just coins. Dollar bill acceptors, while expensive brand new, can also be found online at a fraction of the cost used. Lights. Maybe a black light for the inside of the machine, or some sparkly flashing lights for the outside. Lights are a great addition to make even an old machine look new and more attractive. New graphics. Fun for all ages? The idea is to attract people to your machine, not scare them away and horrify them. Invent up some awesome new graphics for the front of your machine to make it even stand out or even personalize it if you want. Add gravel or other types of bedding to the bottom of your machine to make your prize area look more attractive. For example, with my little diamond, I added some simulated diamonds to act as the bedding for this machine. Hopefully these pointers will get you in the right direction if you're looking to buy your own machine. Also, feel free to share photos of your progress or even your completed machine on my Facebook page, which I have linked in the description, or on BeTheClaw.com, which was designed by Alan Kavorkov. And as I always say, thanks for watching.